Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about Silo's theorem and in particular we're going to be looking at the following question. Show that a group of order 40 is not simple. So let's take a look at how we would do this. So the first step that we need to do is we need to find the prime factorization of 40. And we can factor 40 as 4 times 10 but that's not 40 uh, written as its prime factorization. What we need here is 2 cubed times 5. So we've written 40 as a product of prime factors. Now the next step we need to do is apply Silo's theorem. So by Silo's theorem, we have that the number of 2 the Silo 2 subgroups, um, there exist Silo 2 subgroups, and the number of them divides 5. Um, and furthermore, the number of Silo 2 subgroups is congruent to 1 mod 2. We also are uh, able to infer from Silo's theorem that the number of Silo 5 subgroups divides 2 cubed and the number of Silo 5 subgroups is congruent to 1 mod 5. So let's explore uh, what sorts of possibilities we have for the number of Silo 2 subgroups. Well, if the number of Silo 2 subgroups must divide 5, the only possibilities over here are 1 and 5. And so we ask ourselves, uh, which of those are congruent to 1 mod 2? And it turns out both of them are. So we have two possibilities here. The number of Silo 2 subgroups uh, could be 1. There could be just one of them. Or uh, there could be 5 of them. So uh, that's some information that's fairly useful. And now we'll look at the number of Silo 5 subgroups. The number of Silo 5 subgroups must divide 8. And we're given also that the number of Silo 5 subgroups is congruent to 1 mod 5. Well, the only divisors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the only uh, one of those integers that's also congruent to 1 mod 5 is 1. So what we can conclude here from Silo's uh, theorem is that the number of Silo 5 subgroups is 1, um, and this implies that the Silo 5 subgroup in our uh, group G, so that's just notation meaning the Silo 5 subgroup in G, um, is characteristically normal in G. And uh, that information we're getting precisely because we found that N sub 5 is 1. Um, and so sometimes we use a little uh, abbreviation characteristically normal in G um, to signify that. So what that means is uh, it's strongly normal. In other words, G has uh, some non-trivial normal subgroups. G uh, is not simple, and it's not simple because we found a normal subgroup that's not the trivial group nor the whole group. Um, we found a Silo 5 subgroup there. 